Mr. Ashish Balakrishna, hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 94 in Civil Engineering Branch in GATE 2022. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you so okay. much. Nice. Very nice, Ashish. Ashish, it seems you have taken a classroom coaching from ES Academy. Yes, sir. And also online test series in yes. online, test, online test series also, right? Yes. Okay. Very good, Ashish. You please tell us how this ES Academy a classroom coaching helped you in getting good hold on the subject and uh, acing this examination yes. and securing the 94th rank. Yes. So classroom coaching was very comprehensive. Oh, whatever topics were required for gate exam and not only gate exam, all the computer exams were very well covered. And also not only comprehensive, it was very structured as well. So everything was uh, very in a structured manner, taught in classroom, in-depth knowledge was provided. So it was easy to uh, get a grip over syllables and then appear for exam. Okay, good. Yeah. Ashish, I think uh, uh, this uh, year you took uh, online test series also. Yes, yes, sir. So how, how was it useful for you in the preparation? Uh, sir, test series covered all the topics which can be expected for exam. So it in a way eased my preparation methods. Like I knew well before that what are topic what are the topics I should prepare very well, which could come in exam, and so there was extra focus always. So it really helped me to ease my preparation way. Okay, nice, Ashish. Yes. Ashish, can you tell us uh, your uh, uh, college where you did your B Tech and in which year did you pass out? Uh, in 2016, I have completed my B Tech from College of Engineering, Pune. Oh, C O E P. Yes, Pune, yes. One sir. of the good college, right? Uh, yeah. 2016 you completed yes yes sir. Ah, okay uh, then have you done any job after that uh, yes i worked with tata consulting engineers it is a civil engineering consultancy and then i also uh, worked in as a junior engineer in indian railways okay till last october i was working okay okay yes. that's uh, one of the interesting point mr ashish yes having worked uh, i think uh, more than uh, more than 5 years i think right uh, no in between i was preparing as well Okay, right. Uh, but uh, I uh, I was joined till October. Okay. Yes. Um, but both are good companies. Tata Consulting Engineers means one of the core company right? where yes, you work yes. for uh, Very core screening company. jobs, right? Yes, yes. And also said Indian Railways also worked uh, as a junior engineer. Junior engineers. Yes. No, what prompted to go for GATE uh, this year? Uh, no, actually, I had to. Yes, I was planning for GATE uh, right from my uh, I passed out in 2016. Mm. And I gave attempts also, mm. but uh, I was not very satisfied with uh, my attempts. So I made it a uh, thought that I will give my best attempt this time. Right. And with ACE notes and everything in hand, it was easy for me. Okay. Yes. Nice, uh, Ashish. Right. Yes. See, um, for <coughs> this gate 2022, how many hours you used to prepare daily? Uh, like number of hours, uh, it uh, varied, but I uh, tried to be, uh, means when I'm preparing, I was uh, very focused in studies itself. Mm -hmm. Like uh, number of hours, uh, I think six hours on average for uh, three, four months. I studied. Three, four months, so seriously, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Are you doing the job you now also? No, now, I mean, uh, before gate, I was on holidays, but now I'm planning to quit itself. Achha, no, while preparing for a gate exam, you are working for Indian Railways. No, right? oh, no, 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 sir. Uh, I had uh, taken leave. You, you took the leave. Yes, okay. yes, sir. Right, right. Okay. So you said that a daily used to prepare six hours or so, yes. isn't it? Yes. So how you used to spend this uh, six hours on your gate preparation? Let us say, did you uh, study only one subject, otherwise more than one subject? At what interval you used to give break? Can you please yes. elaborate on these points? uh six hours means uh, i used to break my duration of study uh i used to study for two or three hours in a stretch in morning and later i used to uh, means uh, two hours or 1.5 hours later the day i used to study i uh, didn't study in a stretch for uh, six hours so i used to it uh, i used to freshen up in between and also i preferred studying only one subject for a day okay. means, uh, for whole day i used to study one subject perfectly Mm. And uh, after completing one subject, I used to touch next subject. Next subject. Yes. 
and uh, you took this uh, test series uh, this year again right, right? Yes, so yes. yet what interval you used to take this uh, mock test while preparing uh i used to give test regularly at least uh, alternate day i used to give test before and later on when my uh, syllabus was completed i used to every day i used to give test suppose in afternoon session that is uh, when we are not in a mood to study or we can't focus very well i used to give test and then uh, uh, during evening times i used to revise what mistakes i have made that's right yes. so in the evening time you used to revise the yes. points where you did some mistakes in the test yes. right last one 1.5 months every day i used to give test okay yes. ashish uh, one more thing when you attended that the classroom coaching yes. you might have taken that uh, running class notes isn't it yes yes sir apart from that uh, did you prepare any further uh, short notes for every subject uh, uh, uh whatever was there in class note itself is enough but uh, uh instead of writing short notes i used to mark important points in book only in, in second reading what important points i have to read which i can for, uh, forget or important formulas okay. i used to mark in book only also what mistakes i make uh constantly in a, a test series and something like that mm. i used to write down itself in book only with pencil or uh, with some other pen but i used to write in book only so right. all my short notes everything was in book only book means single book single notebook yeah right? uh, i didn't prepare any alternate okay book single only. single notebook where you had that classroom running notes yes and additionally you had written whatever the additional point that yes. you want to yes. focus later yes. isn't it yes. those points Okay, Ashish, you said that you took a classroom coaching in our in our AS Academy in which center? Uh, in Hyderabad. Hyderabad Center. Yes. yes okay. Sir. Right. Right, uh, Ashish. Ashish, one more thing. I see when you made such a because you had a lot of work experience also. Yes. Again, um, with the academics also, you have to be in touch, right? If yes. If you want yes, to take this examination. Yes. Uh, see when you had some work experience when you were doing some jobs again switching over to preparation again thinking to crack gate examination yes. it requires some sort of what you call a mental stability and also moreover some interest is it net yes yes sir so how could, any reason behind this uh, what you call the uh, that zeal uh, to crack the examination where did uh, you derive this inspiration uh, sir inspiration as such uh, means i was uh, very interested in subjects itself civil engineering only uh, subjects only i was very interested in so it was not a big deal for me to uh, stop my job and switch over means i would have loved any, any time to study again but, so but normally know. students what i have seen uh, if you join some company yeah. if you work there for uh, one year two years etc <coughs> again coming back to academics means uh, it will have a lot of inertia isn't it uh, yes sir yes sir if, uh, uh, there was unless lot of you inertia. are very energetic and enthusiastic yes uh it's not that much easy that's uh, why I'm actually you. i also had very much inertia mm. and uh, it was tough for me to uh, switch over but mm. uh, what i did was i tried to include little bit exercise every day in my discipline and and i tried to stick to discipline mm. i didn't do a lot of uh, other things which will uh, uh, break my focus of studies it's a lot of social media and all that i didn't do Okay. And I tried to exercise uh, regularly. That was what type of exercise? Uh, Ashish, anything you, you can mind. do. Means anything. I used to uh, do for uh, go for uh, jogging. Okay. At home, sometimes if uh, time doesn't permit, I used to do some exercise. Mm -hmm. Meditation also I did some days. Okay. So it helped me. Last one point five used to meditate also one point five months. Right. It helped me. Very good, focus. Ashish. Yes. See this uh, classroom running notes and also the additional points what you have made. Yes. Was it sufficient for you in this preparation, or did you refer to any test book further? Uh, test book? No, I didn't refer to test book. Class notes were very sufficient, and test series uh, means some extra questions, some extra different type of questions were there in test series. So, what is your opinion, Ashish? The is it sufficient for your uh, examination? Why? Well, because in class notes we deal all the theory part, right? Yes. We cover. And additionally, again, we give that uh, volume one, volume two booklet. Previous yes, yes, question yes. banks we give, uh -huh. and also question bytes also we give, and also we have this uh, test series also. Where it have question bank? Yes. What do you say? Is it sufficient for a preparation? It is very sufficient, sir. Right? More than sufficient. Yes, very sufficient. More okay. than sufficient. Right. 
what was your plan of study just before one week uh, the actual gate examination uh, before one week i made it a point to solve uh, one test every day and uh, i used to try and revise two subjects every day like two to three subjects suppose these subjects i used to revise three subjects and uh, before one week i was solving max questions also one one thing ashish see in the last one week you said that daily you used to revise the two subjects is it yes yes so what points you have actually revised because revision means some people think that it will take a lot of time for them okay. so per day two hours two subjects you said you have revised yes yes sir again one test you are you, you took isn't yes, it yes sir so what points you used to revise when you mean to say revision of the subject so actually for last week uh, every student is going to feel that uh, you are not very well prepared with your studies absolutely uh, so if you are giving a test series constantly and if you are solving questions then you are going to remember those things in exam so don't worry of that what uh, you have to make sure is you don't forget any formulas so only formulas and some type of questions also are revised means some regular uh, gate asked questions regular pattern questions they asking those are revised also previous year i tried to read a previous uh, 8 to 10 years question just simply reading But the solution it all take lot of time see how can you revise two subjects in a day apart from taking test and all no. formally okay formally we can revise because you have underlined those formula <coughs> yes sir you can easily see the formula you can revise yes sir did you prepare anything specific material for that to revise that's what uh, i no 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 i didn't prepare any material then how can the previous year's question bank and all a uh, notebook itself sir we can revise in half an hour means if you are very well prepared with subject okay. just turning the pages you can simply revise the subject so just you, you have, have to glance to... through the pages right yes, you have to glance through the pages the, yes uh, reading all the formulas and mm -hmm. just simply turning the pages you will uh, miss recollect everything okay you should not lose the touch of any subject uh, before you are at, uh, attending the exam mm -hmm. that was the main thing right okay understand ashish yes. and uh, what you did in the examination hall on the day of gate examination <coughs> because this year there were some msqs also there yes yeah we have uh, one more question two marks question aptitude etc yes so what you did in the examination hall uh, in exam uh, i tried to solve whatever i know first Mm. and things which were time consuming but i knew that i i was able to solve so i left them mm. and then was the uh, then the questions which i didn't knew at all mm. then those were the question i attempted the last mm. and also msq like you have to go through options after reading question if you solve answer mm. we are immediately uh, in a habit like uh, we will tick the option and we'll go to next question but instead of doing so read every option and then think for some time that uh, maybe examiner have manipulated something then you can uh, understand so yes. reading every option for msq helps yeah you have to pay some extra attention on that yes, msq extra, right yes extra attention yeah okay fine so that uh, three hours time was it sufficient for you to uh, solve it was the very sufficient paper? yes it was sufficient. Uh, did you leave any questions there uh, i left two questions means i was not knowing those answers okay nat type questions i attempted all Mm. nat msq i attempted everything negative marking questions which i was not sure i left okay right you don't want to take any risk there right ha ah, negative marking i uh, never took any risk okay and uh, after writing this gate examination yes uh, have we ever thought that you will be in the top 100 uh, no actually what happened sir uh, prior to gate exam 10 days before i was suffering with covid oh. and yes i was uh, means i lost uh, Uh, almost 5 6 days during that period so i thought that i will not be under 100 before that i was thinking that i will attain very good rank but due to those 5 6 days i thought i will be in 250 something like that and after exam also i was thinking uh, if i get in top 150 i will be happy and during day uh, the result was declared i was very happy under 100 only i got it okay that's fine yes. uh one thing uh, ashish uh, just because just before 10 days of the actual gate examination yes you were infected with this uh, corona virus right yes yes sir uh what were your feeling during that time psychologically you might have come down a little bit right uh, yes i was uh, very tensed uh, but what i did was i tried to means uh, i tried to uh, see videos if any videos are there like that i tried to prepare and uh, 
actually speaking i was not able to study at all i was very tense uh, were you in a home isolation or uh, home isolation and home isolation uh, yes everything... symptoms were not uh, symptoms uh, how serious they were no very serious sir i was very not serious. able to means sir uh, i attempted for environmental also environmental engineering get mm. exam mm. i was thinking that uh, will i be able to sit for 3 hours means i was not in a position to sit also for 3 hours oh. i was lying down for whole day right uh, uh, but still i managed uh, to give that exam also and a uh, civil also i attempted to give okay yes uh, so how many days you lost because this covid five, effect 5 6 days 5 6 days i lost out, out of the last 10 days 5 6 days you lost there yes yes sir. remaining 5 6 days you could use for the revision work ha uh, i think uh, that uh, transportation part i didn't uh, revise well and mm. then i lost uh, one or two questions there means okay what was going on actually in your mind during that covid affected period uh, i was thinking that i have completed my studies so only yeah. thing is i don't have to ho- uh, uh, means lose hope even though whatever is there it is there mm. i can't change that means i have to again whenever i feel little bit better little bit energy i attain i start studying means every day i was planning only uh, that once i feel better i am going to study this only okay. was going on right uh, very good ashish yes, uh, nice to talk to you see from your experience uh, do you want to share any tips to your uh, juniors who want to ace this examination okay uh, i'll say that last uh, two months are very important uh, so in last two months prepare and uh, keep on revising for last two months whatever you have study, uh, studied uh, keep on revising those things last two months and uh, get previous year questions uh after 2010 i must say are very important don't leave any topic uh means after 2010 whatever topics are asked in exam try and complete those topics uh if you can't complete whole syllabus it's okay but those topics are very important for whoever can complete whole syllabus it is good only but time constraint people those syllabus uh, those topics you should cover right very good any other points you want to share uh just keep on studying and for last uh, i think uh, means last one month everyone is going to feel that uh, they have not completed their study yes and very every feeling right okay. everyone is going to feel that uh, next year i will do better or okay. uh, i will try it next year better i will do next year but don't do that this year only give your best and if okay. you truly give your best you will surely excel in exam right okay nice nice ashish well said right okay, okay. and finally one question to you uh with this 94th rank okay. what are you going to do this year uh i'm planning for psu if okay. i'm getting any psu i will try for psu only otherwise uh i am not in a mood for mtech sir truly speaking okay i will maybe try for niti college sorry niti niti mood niti right uh, you want, want to do that uh, yes, management course yes, right yeah, that's also a good one that's also a good yes. one because you have got a uh, lot of work experience also yes yes i think that may help you in the yes. interview yes yes of that management course yes sir good luck right okay ashish thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us thank you sir and, uh, i once again congratulate you okay. and wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors okay thank you sir good speaking god with bless, you sir god yes. bless you ashish thank you sir